Hello and welcome to a new Godot tutorial. Today I would like to show you how you can use your hex tiles in the tile map editor in Godot to actually design your levels. Normally the tile map editor is working best with squares or sprites in a square format, but you can actually do it with hex tiles as well and then I will show you today how. My name is Tom and this is my tutorial Godot channel. If you like my tutorials, please make sure to upload my video and please consider to subscribe to the channel. But now let us start with the tutorial and have fun. Before we can actually start, we need to make sure that we have some assets as hex fields. In my case, I use my hex fields I have from my recent game Timber Tales, which is already released some time ago. And there I have an increased difficulty because these aren't just hex tiles, these are also isometric hex tiles, which means they are just the half height of their width. And this makes the whole process a little bit more complicated if you have just regular hex tiles. Let us take a look into Godot where actually the magic is happening. So before, before we start with our tile map, I would like to create our tile set. For that I need my tiles and I just drop them into a new 2D scene as I created with just a node 2D. And then I just drop the sprites as sprites into this scene. Afterwards I click to scene and take convert to tile set. I save it as my standard tile set for now. Of course, there must be a tension, an extension like rest. I have also a video for that, how you can do it with a grid map. So if you're using 3D, I have another video where I choose this approach as well. But that's as simple as that. And now we have our tie set. You can now save the scene as whatever you want. If you would like to edit it later for collision, for the example, you can add collision later, you can the pathing add later. But for now we just want to have the visual tiles and we have that in this tile set scene for now. So we can now create a new scene where we have actually a tile map. And there we create the tile map. Now we can just load where I have saved it there. Standard tiles and now we can use the standard tiles as our tile set and as you can see we have all our tiles here in the tile set editor. The problem now is, as I said, I have hex fields and they are isometric. So if I would like to place them here right now, it makes absolutely no sense and we are not able to place it in the right way. So we have to configure our tile map a little bit more. First of all, we let the mode set to square because we have no option for a hex field right there. And we can work with the square one, we just have to make further configuration. And this is done into the cell. First of all, we need to set the size of our cell. In my case, it's 192 by 28. By 128. And now you can see we still have problems. We can't pick them up in the right case. It still looks a little bit weird, and that's because our offset is wrong. It's doesn't have to be offset X it needs to be offset Epsilon and if I hit this you see that the tiles are placed correctly like I would like to have them as you can see I can now place other tiles and they are just combining fine but as you can see here it's uh, overlaid to the tops and therefore I have to check on sort Y the Y sort is making that uh, they are sorted correctly and now I can place my tiles as I want to and now they fit correctly into the square design of the editor and now I am able to create my levels with hex fields as well in the tile map. You can of course also use some normal hex fields, you can use squares, this is much simpler, but I wanted to show you that this is also working for hex tiles and also for isometric hex tiles and now you can design 2D levels in the tile map editor, which is pretty simple, I think. It is now a bit, little bit complicated because you can't use just the tile map functions to get the squares because as you can see, the squares aren't matching 
details behind that. So in the next video, I would love to show you how to calculate the right squares and how you can actually make the tile map conversion to a hex field so you can have a pathfinding uh, mouse to click coordinates and stuff like that. I would like to show you that in the next video. So I hope you liked this tutorial for today and I hope you are able now to build your hex field isometric tiles in the tile map editor in Godot. So see you in the next video. Bye.